Hello, everyone. It is Mark Berman from TV Media Insights. It is Tuesday, June 3rd, and I would like to welcome you back to our daily video cast. And let's begin today with NBC. The network has announced its upcoming season and series premiere dates for its regularly scheduled roster for next season. Now, the upcoming 2014-15 TV season will officially begin on Monday, September 22nd. But NBC will get off to an early start with its first Sunday night football matchup, which is Green Bay versus Seattle. That will air on Thursday, September 4th. And effective that Sunday, September 7th, we will have the next matchup, which is Indianapolis at Denver. The only other NBC series to get an early start will be reality competition, The Biggest Loser, which will open on Thursday, September 11th, with a two-hour episode from 8 to 10 p.m. The remainder of NBC's regularly scheduled programming will debut within the traditional window, beginning with the season premiere episodes of The Voice and The Blacklist on Monday, September 22nd. If you visit our website, you can get a complete listing of the upcoming NBC season and series premiere dates. Let's head over to TBS. The cable network has announced it has picked up reality competition King of the Nerds for a third season. It has ordered eight new one-hour episodes. Over at Cartoon Network, that cable net has picked up The Amazing World of Gumball, which is an animated series. It is ordered for two more seasons, taking it through seasons four and five. In total, we will have 20 new episodes of The Amazing World of Gumball. MeTV, one of the homes of classic television, will remember beloved Ann B. Davis, who passed away on Sunday with a three-hour block of programming. This coming Sunday, June 8th, from 12 to 3 p.m., we will have four consecutive episodes of The Brady Bunch, which will feature the iconic Alice Nelson, the best housekeeper on television, and that will lead into an episode of The Love Boat at 2 p.m., where Ann B. Davis was a guest star. WeTV, if you are a fan of that network, they have rebranded. It is no longer called WeTV. It is now just called We, and I have more information on We and what they are doing in today's newsletter. TNT will air a 19-hour marathon of major crimes, all the episodes from the prior season, beginning on Sunday, June 8th at 2 a.m. Eastern Time. That will lead into the season premiere episode on Monday, June 9th at 9 p.m. Major Crimes, of course, is a spinoff of The Closer. Coming up on the air tonight, we have a new reality series on the CW. It is called Famous in 12. It is produced in conjunction with TMZ, and it will feature a so-called ordinary family who heads to Los Angeles for 12 weeks in search of becoming famous. I wish them the best of luck. I don't assume many people will be watching this, but you never know. And Famous in 12 will lead into an encore of Supernatural, Airing tonight, which will obviously win the evening, is another two-hour installment of the new season of America's Got Talent on NBC. Today in TV history, let's go back to 1969. We have the final episode of the original Star Trek on NBC. It aired for three seasons. It produced 79 episodes. And if there is the mor- a moral of any story is sometimes when a show ends, it really doesn't end. To date, we have had... Five regularly scheduled Star Trek series, including, in addition to the parent series, we have had Star Trek, The Next Generation, Deep Space Nine, Voyager, and Enterprise. There have been two animated series. There have been 12 theatrical movies to date. I am sure there is more coming up. There is a ton of merchandise. There are conventions and so much more. Star Trek concluded on this day, amazingly to me, That was 45 years ago. I, as a very young kid, watched the first episode of Star Trek. Then I kind of lost interest. Also on this day was the debut of HBO drama Six Feet Under. It opened in 2001. It ran for five seasons, producing 63 episodes. And that is our daily video cast from TVMI on this third day of June. I thank you for joining me, and I will see you back tomorrow. Have a great day.